dream's over, kids. The dream is over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Right man, it's not gonna be in the game. It's over. It got shut down earlier, literally 30 minutes ago from you watching my video. A video was released on Artsy Omni's channel. Now this guy is reputable because he made an amazing Klonoa re, um, 3D model uh, a little while back for Smash Brothers and it looked really good too. Um, this guy is a pro at Photoshop, at um, Adobe After Effects, um, even Adobe Premiere. This guy is efficient and he did this Klonoa model, like I said, which looked really good for Smash. And it was featured on his DeviantArt page, I think. But it was an amazing piece of work and I didn't even think about this guy when the whole Rain Man thing happened. I really did it. <laughs> I totally fucking did it. But sure enough, man, sure enough, this guy came forward and said, I made the leak and he made a video talking about how he made it. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it. It's amazing though. He's good at what he does. You gotta watch this. He's good. He's good. You got us. <laughs> you got us, you bastard. Good shit, man. Good fucking shit. Look at this smug bass. Look at that shit eating smile. Look at that shit eating grin, yo. Get the hell out of my house. <laughs> yo, I was had. I was had. Hey, guys, this is Omni, and I wanted to give you guys a yo. quick little look at how I put together the character menu containing Rayman <laughs> as fake DLC. You got me. If you haven't you seen got the video, me, this is what it looks like. Uh, basically, what it is is just off screen footage of yeah. the menu with. Both Rayman and Mewtwo, and the it looks so convincing. Like Rayman, basically. He did everything. At first, I thought I would recreate the entire menu from scratch, just because it would give me more flexibility with animations and things like that. But that ended up being a really bad idea because I'm gonna the menu is way too complex. It's called character menu footage. Look at it. He goes through the entire so process. Here. So one thing, this guy, he when he made these. I am literally going to film everything leading up to this so that way people can see I, I made just it. The isolated cursor and Damn. Once I fast forward a little bit. Now as you can see here it looks pretty fake because the idle character menu is not responding to the cursor some of the characters so that it was remember for you both Mewtwo and Rain it together. Now it was important that I put Mewtwo oh, in the character select screen as well because he's confirmed DLC already, and if he's not in the menu, then no one's gonna believe any of us. Oh my god, so, and you see, this is stuff on another level. Like, I've never, to be I have never used Photoshop I use or Adobe art, After Effects to this notice. extent, to the point and where so he has, that art comes from, he has a timeline in Photoshop. So, I'm not used to did, that level of skill with the, with the program. I'm not that good at it, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Trophy of Mewtwo from, from the game, and colorized it a bit and modified the hand position. I also changed the way it was shaded and I changed the shape of his head a little bit to better match the art that they showed us during the Nintendo Direct. I didn't watch the whole and thing so I, I didn't that, see that. Well, I put holy him shit. between Greninja and Rob but I needed to move Captain Falcon mm. out of that row because there wasn't enough room otherwise. So I put Captain Falcon next to Little Mac and then I made a space between Sonic and the Mii Fighters because I thought Rayman being a third-party character, it made more sense for him to be in the bottom row. Of course, in the so third-party row. All that, I also needed to replicate the flames in the background, and this was he a difficult a process because uh, I didn't have any sort of source image on which to base it, so I had to patch together bits and pieces of the flame pattern. And he literally made the, uh, and flame, the, the whole flame, flame pattern, pattern yo. Uh, he literally made the, the whole center thing. Over and over again. It looks and so it convincing to me. Quickly, so. I, I didn't think you could fake that. Patch together that pattern. I did not think you could fake that flame pattern. That's one of the main things that made me think this Rayman thing was real. The flame pattern going behind him? I thought that made it legit, but god and damn! Then use a smart object to put that underneath the art of oh, both Mewtwo and man. Rayman. This guy changed the game. Now, this guy changed the game. The adjacent character slots, as you can see here. Good fucking uh, show, man. As the flames move out of Greninja's slot and into Mewtwo's doesn't quite line up, but I wanted to make sure they look at enough. least pretty convincing going from Mewtwo's to oh my Rob's. God. <laughs> the next thing I needed to do was create oh the portrait oh for Rayman shit. that would populate the player slot. He made a uh, official, involves he made a very official looking the text original art for renders. Rayman's name. It also involved making a symbol that would associate with uh, the Rayman franchise, essentially. 
The symbol that I used for Rayman is the Lum, which is a commonly recurring element in the Rayman franchise. Uh, I believe you it's been Mega in every game. To make sure it look good. At least all of the games oh I've ever God. played had the Lum in it, so I figured, you know, it's a common enough symbol. I considered using just the ring that shows up on his shirt, but I didn't think that was iconic enough. So, given Rayman's recent stylistic reimagining, I thought it would be appropriate to use the new Lum design that they introduced in Rayman Origins. The other big part of the player slot is the animation that plays whenever you hover over one of the characters. Basically, yes, the yes. character kind of rushes in from the right side of the slot, so I needed to recreate that for Rayman. Uh, if I had the actually... energy of the speed Holy lines here, I would have been able to do that more easily, but How instead did you I had even... to recreate it from scratch. This is some so next level shit, match, man. But I got it as close as I could. This is some next level shit! Once I have all of these pieces in place, I can what bring that into the After Effects file. And then that is amazing. move things around. So he used a combination the of so that everything Photoshop lined up. Now since I had footage of the characters populating that player slot, I could just overlay that on top of the existing idle menu footage. But the characters do not move in sync with the cursor anymore because the characters have shifted slightly to the left. So the cursor would theoretically hover on top of them a little bit sooner than before. So I had to change the timing to account for that. Okay, let's pass a little So, bit. I recreated that, and then I individually put those slots back into the footage. Oh my god. And this god. is what that looks like. There's a lot of little details that you have to make sure you capture, such as the uh, pulsating of the red outline as it rests on one of the characters, the aliasing on the letters for the characters' names. Obviously, with a leak, people are going to scrutinize the image, make sure everything lines up and is consistent with the way it actually appears in the That's game. That's what he did? It looked so, so clean. Lot. It looked too clean. He had the consistency down to a fucking fucking equation. It was crazy. Lot of things I need to, to account for. But with all of that put together, this is what it looks like. Yeah, oh my god, in HD? Oh my god, it looks so legit. Impressive. Impressive. My friend, you've made a difference out here. If you haven't watched the time-lapse uh, painting of Rayman, then oh you find that Oh my god, here. that is amazing. And yeah, I don't have any plans to make any more big uh, fake leaks or anything like Thank that. But you. I am doing Smashified, which is where I draw characters in the style of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. So if you want to see one of your favorite characters that didn't get into the game, then post your suggestion in the comments. Or if you prefer, you can tweet your suggestion. Wow, it shows him making the original Smashified. art. It shows him making the and original model. I will model. get as many of those as I can. Oh, the and whole if your suggestion <laughs> is popular enough, then who knows? Maybe I will paint it. So, yeah, wow. uh, that's pretty much it. So go wow. do those things. Uh, or, or if you know you don't want to do those things, then don't. I I'm going to. I can't make you do anything. So, of course, of course. Thanks for watching the video, and. I will see you guys next time. No problem, man! <laughs> oh my god! That was amazing! Oh my god, Artsy, this guy is a boss! This guy is a goddamn boss! Boss status. Yo, where's the subscribe button, yo? Where's the fucking subscribe button? I'm in there! I'm in there, baby! We ha you, you have it there yourselves, folks. Oh, man. I, I just liked the video first because I was like, no, there's no way this can be real. Because I was just, I was salty. I'm not even going to lie, guys. I was salty. But I ain't going to be salty no more. This guy is amazing. I love it. I love it, dude. You had everybody going. You had 4chan, Reddit, NeoGoth, Screw Attack. Even Ubisoft was wondering, what the fuck's going on? Oh, man. A part of me... You know, actually, no, not really. But, like, before I watched the whole video, a small part of me was saying, you know what, Dez? Yo, what if Ubisoft is working with the guy and they really are going to release Rayman, but, you know, they just had to kind of throw everyone... Nah, nah, I doubt it. That doesn't have anything to do with this. But still, amazing video, man. You changed the internet. Now, never trust a leak unless you see some gameplay footage. N never trust it 100%, man, because it can all be faked. Everyone, unfortunately, kept saying, this shit could be faked. And we never really saw an example of that kind of extreme deceptive Photoshop, that extreme deceptive um, Premiere and After Effects.
until today. And now we all see it ain't as tough as we make it think it is. You gotta have a lot of skill with um, model design and whatnot, but this guy did. He took the original Mewtwo head and turned it into something else? My nigga, what? RC is a boss, man. I'm gonna give it to you, man. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. Go check out the original video to see the whole thing without me fast-forwarding through it. It's amazing. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Yo, the hype train's still going, though, baby. We still got Mewtwo coming up. It ain't stopping in Montreal like I thought with Ubisoft, but we still moving forward. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I am blown away right now. <laughs> oh, yes.